welcome back to another lippy review. So today we're doing the first one from the Blistex holiday collection from this year. Oh my god, as an aside, may I tell you what a bitch and a half it was to track this down. I have been trying for literal months to track this down. I have had people in multiple states trying to help me track this down. No dice. I thought I found a listing on Walmart.com for it. Lo and uh, behold, I buy it. It arrives. It is not this set, despite the photo that it would lead you to believe that you were buying. No, no, they sent out last year's holiday collection. Contact the seller, got my money back. No big deal. So I wait a while. After he has sworn he's taking down his shifty listing, he apparently did not take it down. And your girl fell for this not once, but twice, because she did not check the seller in question to see that I have already bought from this seller. And I got the same set a second time. Ladder, rinse, repeat. So, this kind of went on the back burner for frickin' months. I kept it as a searched, saved tag on eBay, and just kind of forgot about it for a while. And it finally turned up in a two-pack, and I was like, you know what? It's cool. The main friend I had helping me try to track these down, I'm sending the other set to. So, you know, it, it's all good. But, oh my god, it should not have been this hard to track these down. But anyway, the flavors in here are Winter Fruit Punch, Raspberry Champagne, and Berry Citrus Cider. So, honestly, they all sound amazing. I'm excited for all three. We're gonna do Winter Fruit Punch today, though. But anyway... Yeah, that really long intro aside, I can't give fair pricing info because I don't know what it actually sells for since seemingly nobody I know has been able to actually find it in a brick and mortar store to know the real price on it. So, can't answer that for you. But here's what the packaging for a winter fruit punch looks like. It's got a cute little cup of a holiday fruit punch, if it'll focus, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> format wise, it's a stick. I assume it's just going to be normal colored wax. Yes, it is. Um, mm, yummy. So, the cap does not want to stay on super well. It's not a flimsy feeling one either, is the weird part. Like, it slightly snaps, but like, not that well. Like, I, I worry about that. That's going to be a point. But at least no wiggly turn wheel. I can't bitch about that. So, size wise, it is. 0.15 ounces, so standard stick amount, no complaints. Uh, it is synthetic, I'm pretty sure. Our ingredients are hydrogenated coconut oil. Wow, that's usually not the first ingredient. Okay. Octododecanol, uh, candle lila wax, beeswax, phenyl trimethicone, bisdiglycerol polyacetylatopate 2, dimethicone, jojoba esters, miristeryl, miristate, C1030 cholesterol slash linosterol esters, flavors, tocopherol acetate, carnauba wax, arachidyl alcohol, caprylic slash caprylic triglyceride, behanil alcohol, alumina, arachidyl glucoside, phenoxyethanol, polyhydroxystearic acid, saccharin, stearic acid, and titanium dioxide. So, yes, very much synthetic. If anyone cared to know the ingredients, there you go. Um, anyway, so it's just part of this set of three that I literally just showed you. It's not medicated, no SPF in these, no special features, it's literally just straight up lip balm. Blistex always puts these out, they're always different flavors, usually. So, it is looking a little shinier on the top level than they usually are. I don't think that's going to pick up on camera because it's just bouncing back white, but in real life, top layer, even pre-use shinier than usual, and I'm chalking that up to the coconut oil being, like, the main ingredient, so, okay. This is, like, such a specific scent. Like, yes, it's fruit punch, but also, like... I've smelled this before. I think I've even smelled it in a Blistex scent before. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, wait. This might, might, don't quote me on it in case I'm wrong, this might be a reskin of Mary Berry, which I also really liked, 
so no complaints there, but it also does very much smell like fruit punch, so it's fine. But I'm like, wait, I know this scent. I know this scent very well, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same as Mary Berry. I'm gonna check it off camera after I stop this, but, um, I'm pretty sure if it's not identical, it is really freaking close. But anyway, let's try it. Ooh, it's soft. Okay, so, just so nobody fucks up, go with a light hand. This is very, very soft balm. And it will smush. Like, I barely touched it, and there's already, like, a big old crater dip, if I can get it to... Yeah. Yeah, that's on, like, light hand, guys. Light hand. But that does feel super good. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, it has flavor. And that does taste like punch. Okay. I'm here for that. Hell yeah. Well done. So, it does admittedly leave a bit of a white cast on the lips. For me, because of my skin tone, that just looks like a frosty lip from, like, the 90s. On a darker complexion, it might be problematic. Possibly. I don't know that for fact. Again, don't quote me on it. Don't come for me if I'm wrong. But I feel like th this could end up looking a little funky. So just, you know, be informed. Because I know uh, people have said similar with, like, certain sunscreens and things with the white cast. So now I've, like, taken notice of things that do have white cast. So this is one of those things, just so you're aware, <laughs> in case, in case, you know, that's a problem. If you don't care, you know, that's fine. <laughs> no problem. Now, this is mm, thinner side of medium, but I do feel traps through it. So that's a little lame, given that I was like, oh man, this is gonna coat it down real good. And then, nope. No, it don't. No, it don't. <laughs> That sucks. But, um, anyway, I love the flavor, though. I love the scent. It's really nice. It's not sticky at all. It's very, very, very creamy and smooth. Feels really, really good. I trust this one's actually gonna hydrate pretty darn well, so. Anyway, let us do the drinky test with my coffee. Okay, so that actually stayed on pretty darn well. I am impressed with this one. Hell, even if it is a reskin of Mary Berry, I'm not mad about it because it also does legit smell like fruit punch, so they're not wrong. I say that's allowed when it still fits the vibe. Like, it, you know, can't be mad about that. So, anyway, I think I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 because of the cat because I feel chaps through it, but I have no other complaints whatsoever. This is really lovely, guys. Like, if you can get your hands on this set, which, I mean, good luck to you, because I had a hell of a time finding it, but if you can get your hands on this set, it is very nice. At least this one is so far. I assume the other two are going to be the same consistency and all, so it's going to be the same deal, but it, it's pretty darn nice. So, anyway, those are my thoughts. So, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.